and welcome to our afternoon conversation today with the Lady Cats. We're joined by Lady Cat Christie and Lady Cat Rima today. Ladies, we're going to talk a little bit today about exciting victory over Miami, a nail biter this week. It was a nail biter, 51% to 49%. It was really close. So thank you for all your help and support and getting, our, getting people to vote for us. Well, I tell you what, we had fun. I still have got computer elbow <laughs> from trying to. I think I came close to 300, 3,000 votes that I put in. Though. I'm By lucky yourself. to still have a job, yeah. though. But talk a little bit about it, though. You talk about it being close. You trailed most of the way. You were able to come from behind in the final two hours to win the thing. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm pretty sure that none of the dancers slept. I know that I didn't. I know that none of the girls on our team did. We were up all night voting, 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 sending out as many tweets and Facebook messages, statuses as possible. Yes, you. So we were, I mean, <laughs> we were, like, praying, and then it just... Luckily, in the last two hours, we really pulled through. You know, it seemed like it's kind of a disadvantage having to play Miami in the second round. You got the first round by. Probably the biggest hurdle you had to take on was actually the first participating, I hope I say, yeah, but the first round you actually had to have money. I agree. Um, obviously, Miami, they're very much competitive. They won the first round. We're still the only team to ever beat them, so it was nice to be able to do that in back to back years. And again, like you said, what, they're four time champions there? And you were at a disadvantage because with them having LeBron and Chris Bosch and all, they probably get a million hits today on their yep. website. I like that, that. But it's kind of make you feel good that the community, everybody came through. And in a way, even though you're defending champions, you pulled off, I guess, the upset for a friend. Yeah, we definitely did. We appreciate so much everyone's support. Everybody just showed their Carolina pride, and we appreciate it so much because I know that we made a huge effort, and it was awesome to see like everybody else make one too. It's got to be fun too. You mentioned that. I know. I went to bed about two. And thank goodness the NCAA championship game is boring, so I sat there the whole time. I found the secret uh, way of where you can get them on and on and on, and you don't have to put the wacky codes in over and over again. If you just bypass that and click on and go to the bottom and do it, you don't have to put the letters in, which I can never read anyway. Where it kind of sped up the process, though. But what what secrets do y'all have as far as being able to get the votes in? You don't want to give them your secrets. <laughs> but We're but they're getting you. Maybe I'll help some of the voters out there. <laughs> well, you are you must be a hacker or something. You bypass the secret code. No, we just actually just created many logins and uh, email addresses, maybe some fake ones. <laughs> I'm sure if we need to, or dot com is going to be sending out email, uh, emails to people that don't exist, but that's okay. Whatever it takes, it's definitely a team effort and whatever we have to do to win. <laughs> And it's got to be something too makes you feel good in the community, the way the community bounced around. I know, that matter of fact, I've got to come up with an autographed calendar by the Lady Cats because I had people in Tennessee voting. My representative, oh, so awesome. Sid, if you're watching us, we came through, we're working on the calendar for you right there, though. But talk a little bit about the community support and all coming through for you. Oh my gosh, like I said, it was just amazing to see everyone support. I honestly, like, I think everybody, I'm a rookie too, so I wasn't here last year when they did it. So I was like, oh my gosh, how are we going to pull this off? It's Miami, it's the first round. We have a million hits on their website. And I just know that all of the girls, all of our marketing department, I know everyone made such an effort to just push it out in the community. And he would open the newspaper and he would see it, he would pull up Facebook and it would be right there in an ad. It was just amazing to see everybody really kicked it and stepped up, I think. And I'm sure it's the way a lot of people got created. We created a site on Facebook yep. to try to do that and have a pretty good response. We sent out about 2,000 emails on that though. But what were some of the things that y'all did as far as being creative? Yeah, being creative, I'm pretty sure we reached out to every, like, to you guys, every radio station. Um, we tweeted a lot, and we had a lot of support up from a couple NASCAR drivers, Elliot Sadler, Denny Hamlin, Jimmy Clawson of the Panthers, so, you know, we were checking the Carolina side, that was awesome for him to tweet for us. Um, just basically anybody that had could reach a huge following quickly. So that's pretty when I and the bad thing is, no rest for the weary. You get that win behind you, and then the next day we're at it again. And I think off to a good start. Last time I stuffed the ballot box, I think it was 67 to 33 right now, though. But still, you know, you've got another ways to go on that, though. So. Yes, please keep voting for us. We're at the game dancing, so we can't. But I know the rest of our team mates are at home doing it. Well, I'll be voting during the game. Okay. I'll my laptop with me, and we'll go for that. But, you know, you both, in a ways, you've cleared a major hurdle for Miami, but you can't take anybody lightly from here on out. Because if you win this one today, basically, you're in the final, final four. four. Final four. Exactly. There's definitely no time to rest. Uh, as soon as you think that you've got it and you let your guard down, that's when you're going to get beat. So we refuse to get beat. We're still going hard after it. It doesn't matter who we're up against. We want to definitely 
now, I don't know what I can officially call. I want to call the Buck Squad the Buckettes, but I don't think they would like that <laughs> no, name right there. No. What, their, what their name officially is. So, what is their, their it's name? The energy. The energy. With two E's. Okay. I guess that's because it's going to walk left. I don't know. That's the only uh, thing I can think of. But energy. Well, I won't call them the Buckettes. Don't call them the Buckettes, but they may not like it. They may not like that, though. We rushed up here, and by the way, we were singing Zippity Do Doodah. Our Disney song was on the way up here. Uh, uh, we didn't have time to stop by chocolate, so uh, we had uh, chocolate uh, along the way, though. But would you feel like at this point right now that maybe y'all are the favorites of Michigan? I would hope so. I don't know. I like being on top and being the one that people are going to for, but we're going to work harder than everybody else and do whatever we want. So. I guess at this point, we would have to be a favorite. <laughs> All right. Being the rookie, what have you learned from the veterans in the competition on kind of what you're doing? I know this is exciting. Been there, done that before, though. But what are your thoughts on the first time being involved in the competition like this? I think that they were just so excited about it, and it just got all of us so excited. Like, um, I've actually been on another team before, so to see this team, how they handled it, and how pumped up they were about being in the bracket and everything, I mean, I've never been so excited about anything. I was like, anybody that we could think of, we would come to practice, and before we would dance, we would sit there and talk about it, and all the veterans just, you know, reached out to people that we wouldn't even think about, so they just really helped us kind of like open up and look at who we could market to and how we could really get it out there. And for all of our people listening, you've got until 2 o'clock tomorrow to vote. That round will be over. The Knicks squad, I think, sorry, in the final four, it would be who we would face next. Yeah, yeah but it would definitely be the Knicks if we get to this round. And there's definitely no rest. If we win this round, we start the very next day because the next round. And then after that, hopefully, if we win that round, it's like, uh, actually the finals. So we I mean, three days of voting back to back. So get your carpet tunnel out. <laughs> Bear with us for the next few days. Sorry for bombarding your Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> we appreciate it. But it's got to be fun, though. And, and, you know, it's been kind of tough with the team, with the injuries. Realistically, it's going to be hard to make the playoffs. Do y'all feel like now that y'all got to carry the banner with excitement right here, with trying to round out everything on a positive note? Oh, absolutely. I think we just, you know, we hold it really high. We're very honored, and, you know, we take a lot of pride in it, and that we appreciate that the community does, too. So, you know, if we have to carry this team, we're going to do it. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, ladies, we, what would you want to tell right now to our, our viewers out there and our listeners? Any messages you can give them right now, what would you want to tell them? Vote, vote, and vote. All right. All right, Christy, what do you want to tell them? Um, just thank you for your support. We hope that we continue to have your support going forward. Um, we did bring Charlotte its very first championship of any kind, and we're going to do our best to bring it up in the back here. So you've heard it right here from Christy and from Rima. Going for the two-peat this year. Again, please turn out, support, and vote, vote, vote. And we hope to be doing another one of these real soon, though, as you move on into the Final Four and hopefully on to the championship. Reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting, I'm Dick Cox.